Let's face it, Apple's new iOS update has really messed up some Facebook advertising. You really can't target your audience that's already been to your site, but there's a way around it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can still retarget your audience and capture those warm leads. Okay, so if you've missed it, just a brief recap, Apple iOS uh, 14 just released as a new update and it now gives people permission or the ability to allow apps the permission to track them or not. So of course, once you allow people and ask them if they have permission to be tracked, everyone's gonna just say no. Um, that's kind of what we all thought was gonna happen and it has happened. So now you can't actually do a lot of the retargeting that you used to do with your Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. So because of that, it's really kind of made it harder to target more of your warm leads. So it means that ad costs are going up and you're not able to see as many analytics in your Facebook dashboard, which really sucks because it's harder to tell if your ad's performing well or not. So while we can't really do too much about the analytics inside of Facebook, we can make sure that we're still targeting a warm audience. So you can't target people specifically that went to your website anymore just because it's not really collecting a lot of that data because people opted out. And if you wanna hear more about that iOS update, by the way, you can click on the info cards above. I made a whole video about that, but I don't wanna talk about the issue. I'm gonna talk about the solution. So the solution for this is to actually target people on the platform itself. So you can do different custom audiences that are based on how people are interacting with your brand on social media. So you can target people based on their engagement with your Facebook page or your Instagram page. And my favorite, how much of a video that they've watched. So if you were uploading videos to your Facebook or Instagram page, you can actually then target people based on how much of a video that they've watched. So you could say, show this ad and create this audience for anyone that has watched 50% or more of this video. So that can be really helpful because you know then that you're getting people to be very targeted. If they've already watched at least 50% of a video that you've uploaded to your social media account, then you know that they're probably most likely your ideal customer, they're maybe interested in your product, and they're a little bit more of a warm lead. So it would be great then to actually show them an additional ad, maybe for the product specifically that you're selling and linking into your product page on your website. So to set this up, we are going to go to the audiences area of our Facebook ads manager, which you can get there by clicking on the menu bar here and clicking on audiences. Once you're on this page, just click on create audience and custom audience. Here you can see all of the different ways that you can create this audience, but we are going to be selecting video here and hit next. You will then click on this engagement area here and choose what percentage you want to do of a video watch. So for this example, we can click on people that have watched 50% of our video, or we could even do you know 25% or 75% or create separate audiences for those. And then we'll choose videos. And then you will see all of the videos that you have that you have uploaded specifically to Facebook or Instagram. You do have to upload these to, for example, you can see here, this is our Facebook page. So you do have to upload it. You can't just link out to YouTube, for example, but we'll select a couple different videos that we want to use and then hit confirm. And you can now see that we have this setup of anyone who's watched at least 50% of either of these four videos. We can set the time period of days watched, name our audience, and also add in a description if you want. And once you've got that set up, you can click create audience. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and that you now have a new way to target people for your Facebook and Instagram ads. Again, it's not a complete solution because you're still getting a little bit mixed of your analytic data inside of Facebook because it's not able to track specifically all the conversions, but you are at least able to have more of a warm lead audience instead of just a cold lead audience and you're able to retarget people who at least hopefully already know, like, and trust you. So I would love to hear what your thoughts are on that. Comment below. Let me know, are you advertising on Facebook or Instagram? Or have you moved on to another platform? I personally love Pinterest as well, but we're not talking about that in this video. I would love to hear more about your advertising experience. And if you're going to be setting up different video retargeting or retargeting for your Facebook and Instagram page. Also, we post videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store every week. So if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And I've got a couple other videos over here that I think you might like, so make sure to check those out as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.